Hi, today we are doing SPM Form 5 Physics, Chapter 1, WAVE, and my name is Derek Ng. Um, well, WAVE, we have four types. Um, the first one is light, light wave, and then we also have uh, sound wave, as well as uh, water wave, and electromagnetic wave, EM wave. All right? So these are the four common types of wave. Now we look at wave, what can it do? We have a loudspeaker and sound comes out. The flame was seen flickering. Basically what we understand is um, the wave actually transfer energy. It doesn't transfer the mass of the, of the, of the wave. It doesn't transfer the mass or the matter. All right? So we can explain this further in the next slide. Alright. So for example, if I have a diagram like this, I have a structure, this is the wall, and I tie a long red rope and attach to the wall, fixed at one side and the other side movable, and I tie a blue ribbon on one part and I move it up and down. The blue ribbon actually move at the same position, same X position, while it goes up and down. It doesn't move to the right. right? So basically we have two types of wave. The first wave, first type is a transverse wave, another type is longitudinal wave. Okay, transverse wave, let's say I have this set up again, the hand is holding the red rope and uh, the direction of the wave is from left to right. right. So when I move my hand up and down, this pattern is uh, created. And this pattern is called sinusoidal wave. And what if I tie a blue ribbon or you know, a black ribbon on it? It will be seen moving up and down. And what you see here is uh, particles of medium. Okay, We call them atoms in chemistry. And this is called particles of medium. And from this particle of medium, we can see that all of them actually move or oscillate up and down at their fixed position. But at the same time, they can uh, transfer energy. So when you see this pattern, you see a 90 degree of oscillation with the direction of the current, not really current, uh, with the wave. So the key words, if you want to define transverse wave, is uh, particles of medium, which is the atoms, vibrate up and down, perpendicular, uh, 90 degree with the direction of the wave propagation. Now the word propagation is such a big word. Basically it means moving, moving from one place to another. So the real definition, before we move on, let's look at the word T. If I use a small letter T, uh, you can see that I can put a 90 degree there. So this is how I find out the, about the definition of transverse wave. A transverse wave is a wave where the particles of medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation. All right? So basically, transverse wave, T, you can put a 90 degree at the alphabet T. Alright, so this is how you define the oscillation or vibration. Now, my videos, you can share with your friends, especially the poor and needy ones. So the diagram for transverse wave is this. The particles of medium oscillate up and down and it is 90 degree with the direction of the wave propagation. And this is particle of medium. And it's in up down position. And it's 90 degree. Now let's look at longitudinal wave. We have a source of wave and uh, it creates a region of the mole air molecules of compressed region as well as uh, expanded region but the expanded region we call it R 
compressed region we call it C. The compressed region, the compression, is where the air molecules are very close to each other. As for R, we call it rarefaction. Okay? Not rarefaction, it's rarefaction. And the uh, air molecules, they are far away. So the keywords to define longitudinal wave. Uh, we can use the, the keyword of particles of medium, vibrate or oscillate, in parallel. Okay? Parallel to the direction of the wave propagation. Now the example of longitudinal wave is sound wave. A longitudinal wave is a wave where the particles of medium vibrate in parallel with the direction of wave propagation. If I draw a diagram, and if you move forward and backward, move to the front and move to the back, and this movement is in parallel with the direction of the wave propagation. All right. So you can see that the definition can be written out quite simply by drawing diagrams. And the similarity between transverse wave and longitudinal wave is the vibration of the particles. Both of them have particles to vibrate. And the difference between them is actually the direction. One is perpendicular and another one is longitudinal. Example of transverse wave is uh, basically uh, water, light, and EM wave. Now let's look at this uh, pattern. Now this pattern, we have the starting point and the ending point. The starting point until the ending point, we call them one cycle. Okay, how do I define one cycle? If you look carefully, it consists of crest from the starting point to the ending point. The highest point is crest and the lowest point is a uh, trough. And I draw the equilibrium line and this is one way to define it. I put it as one, two, three, four. Four pieces of this will give me one cycle. Now, normally the reference book, they do 